Birdman. When I first saw the trailers for this movie, I thought it was going to be a light-hearted, dark comedy about an aging superhero film star trying to cope with life after the spotlight. And I thought, great, because you got Michael Keaton in it, who played Batman, and it was just going to be a perfect allegory for, you know, for Batman. In fact, one could easily assume that Birdman was just a non-copyright way of saying Batman. However, expectations did not meet reality. Don't get me wrong, the basic plot is there, and the movie is about an aging superhero film star trying to cope with life after the spotlight, but this is an art film. This is so an art film. And don't get me wrong, art films are good, art films are great, we need more art films, but there is such a thing as too artsy. You get to a point where the director's vision is so artsy that it just goes over people's heads. Now, the film did have some positives. It had an amazing cast, a lot of big names, and they all pulled off amazing acting performances. The acting, nothing wrong with the film. The visual effects, nothing wrong with the film. Where the film fails, at least to me, is the director's artistic vision. Now, I'm not going to try and figure out what his vision was. I'm not going to try and figure out what he was thinking. It's not my place to. An artist's vision is their own, and no other artist can rightfully try and deconstruct another artist's vision. But whatever vision the director had for this film, I didn't get it. And don't get me wrong, I love art. I get art. But this was the equivalent of taking a big crate of assorted colored paints, tossing them at a wall, and then convincing people that it's a representation of the deconstruction of the humanist psyche of the existence of non-being. It, it, you, you have to have some sort of structure <laughs> in order, if you want the common person to understand your art. If your art is only understood by you, that's fine. But then don't try and put it out into the rest of the world and expect other people to see things the same way you do. This film's method of storytelling was really, it was like a, when a two-year-old takes pots and pans from the kitchen and starts banging on them wildly. To the two-year-old, it makes perfect sense what he's doing. He hears the music clearly in his mind, and he is playing the greatest music ever. To everyone else, it sounds like a cacophony. And that's kind of what this film was. It was a visual cacophony. This film had ADD in terms of its visual storytelling. I hate to say it, but there were way too many instances of showing without telling. Like, they showed us something, but didn't even explain what it was, or what was happening. And, yeah, whatever the artistic direction was, I didn't get it. And I like to think that I'm slightly more informed than the average moviegoer in terms of the way movies are made and the thought processes that go into them, but this was just lost on me. I mean, again, great performances, great actors, but you have this visual storytelling system that just goes from one thing to another and blam, 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 and and it's accompanied by a drum soundtrack that's just bam, da bam, da bam, 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 it just, it's, it's a mess. It's an audio and visual mess. And I was lost. Now, 
certainly, I mean, if you're a fan of Keaton, if you're a fan of art films, if you think that you can get the director's vision, by all means, go see it. And, you know, I'm not saying the film is bad. I mean, this was a festival darling. It got lots of rave reviews. I mean, it's... People are, are liking it, but... You can... It, it's one thing to like the film, but it's another thing to go along for a, this, this ride that a director is taking you on and just be completely lost along the way. Uh, should you go see it? Probably. In my personal opinion, rent it or wait for it to come on TV. I think a lot of people will be lost just like I was. As for a final rating, well, the film didn't fail, it just failed me, and I'm one person. And you can't really fault a movie for that. Some major faults. But it fell so hard to deserve an F, and it didn't, you know, tear apart my soul in the worst way possible to the D. So, to be honest, but also to be a little kind, C-. I mean, the film has some strengths, but when you have those strengths wrapped around a package that no one can quite open, what's the point? It's like getting a candy bar and the wrapper is held together by super glue. Yeah, you have a candy bar, but you're not really eating any chocolate. Again, it's an art film. It's a very, very, very artsy film. Go see it for the great performances. The actors did an amazing job. They deserve recognition for a great acting performance, but, st uh, but you're going to get lost in the storytelling. Sorry. Uh...